Good morning, investors and traders. This is Naim Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Avatrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's segment, we'll be answering this particular question, Ethereum and Bitcoin. Are they going to be seeing any strength coming anytime soon? Or if there is actually any strength right now. So let's answer that and then have a deeper dive into this. Before we do anything else, as always, it is important for us to go through this disclaimer, which is right in front of you. Now, as always, I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform. Now, on the daily time frame, we have three different moving averages to begin with. Number one, we have our 50 day simple moving average shown in pink. Followed by that, we have our 100 day simple moving average. And finally, our 200 day simple moving average. Now, what is quite important over here is to pay attention to where the price is trading with respect to 50 day simple moving average. Of course, we had this long, big up trend and the price challenged the 50 day simple moving average once over here and the second over here the second time it challenged it was over here and it was pretty much given that the price when the price did come close to its 50 day simple moving average again that the next time it was going to come close it was it is the chances were that it was going to violate that 50 day simple moving average which it did now now the most uh, the, the, the concerning element or the factor in relation to Bitcoin price really is that why the price is failing to move back above the 50 day simple moving average. Because surely if the price cannot break above the 50 day simple moving average, then we are likely to see the price moving further to the downside now how low can the price go i mean of course the first sort of a support level that we are anticipating in terms of a price action is just over here just where that big rally we've experienced and it also sort of in lines with the 100 day simple moving average so if the price cannot go back above the 50 day simple moving average here then we are expecting the price to revisit the 45 to 48,000 sort of a support zone as our first immediate support zone. Now, of course, if the price continues to show a bit more weakness and it continues to move to the downside, then we have to find our next support zone. And our next support zone is right over here. We had the beginning of that big trend that we, we, we saw. And that one, and that means that the price can go all the way unfortunately to 31,000 to 34,000 approximately uh, I mean to, to get the exact levels I can always just zoom into the chart and then we can see that it is 31,789 31, to 34,616 similarly for the other for the immediate sort of a support zone that those price levels are 45,798 to 48,501. But it's not all gloom and doom. <clears throat> excuse me it's not all gloom and doom over here because of course if the price is going to break to the upside we should begin we should see some positive signals coming from the other time frames such as the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame what we are experiencing currently is that price is trading very much you know in the in the in the consolidation pattern right over here and the price is failing to break above the previous high but at the same time the price hasn't formed a lower low because this being low this being a higher low so we haven't formed that so in other words what we could potentially say is a price has formed what we call a symmetrical triangle pattern. So let me draw that uh, symmetrical triangle on the chart to make things a little bit more clear. So this is what we're really talking about. So if the price can break above the highs of this particular line, then we do have a signal 
that look bull strength is coming back but of course the only strength is actually going to be coming it will it, it will, will only witness that when the price breaks above the 50 day simple moving uh, 200 day simple moving average which is trading for nearly 57913 now of course the signal of this one is going to be coming from the 30 minute time frame right now on the 30 minute time frame we are still seeing a bit more weakness because the price is trading below all the moving average so the first sign of strength is going to be coming when the price will move above the 50 day simple moving average on the 30 minute time frame now what about ethereum well in terms of ethereum on the daily time frame the price uh, didn't show that much of a weakness we only came into this sort of area of support right over here and the price started to move back to the upside just from from this area of support and now the fact that the price has already gone above the highs of this particular candle this red candle over here and if we have already formed a new high the chances are that the price will continue to move to the upside from here so we could potentially again see the price challenging this sort of a price level which is at 2500 and then from there onwards we could see the further rally towards that 3000 price level that one that we have talked about previously so in terms of ethereum yes we are seeing strength and then if we switch the time frame on the four hour time frame further strength is not going to be coming once the price moves back above the 50 day simple moving average similarly if we go into a 30 minute time frame what we really sort of need to see is the price uh, the 50 day simple moving average crossing above the 200 day simple moving average and the 100 day simple moving average crossing above the 200 day simple moving average but overall we can be confident that yes ethereum is much is in a much stronger position as compared to bitcoin bitcoin is still prone to some more weakness whereas ethereum it is showing that yes the momentum is to the upside we are still seeing a lot of positive momentum there that's all for now and please do not forget to subscribe and like the content of course if you find it useful thank you